Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Well, welcome back to News 10 Midday. I'm just going to tell you right now that we'll be running with uh, showers pretty much throughout the afternoon. It's going to be a pretty waterlogged day for us for our midweek, uh, for our Wednesday now. So heading out for your afternoon, you're really going to want to be prepared for these rain showers really throughout the whole Wabash uh, Valley. With a wide look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker, you can see there's a whole stream of moisture, just kind of like a conveyor belt of moisture just streaming off to the north. And we're going to continue to see that as we head into the afternoon, jump in a little bit closer to our home some more moderate rain showers just off to our west and uh, if we look a little bit closer in there you can see from Casey off to the west for Effingham a little quick break but just on and off throughout the day we're going to notice these rain showers it's going to be a pretty saturated afternoon with uh, rain just continuing on throughout the day you can see some patches of some clear spots uh, but for the most part overcast and just rainy as we head through the afternoon and into our evening. We're also talking about a pretty, a pretty quick cool down over the last day or so. Temperatures now into the 50s, all the way from Illinois, streaming in towards Indiana. Still pretty warm off to our east where that cold front is uh, now moving through, but right now, 54 degrees right here at home and it's just not going to warm up all that much. You can see over the last 24 hours around 17 degrees cooler than we were at this time yesterday. All of us collectively are just colder and that's just the path we're going to continue as we head through the day. Now here's uh, here's our future cast and this is right around 1 p.m. You can tell just that stream of moisture I was just talking about is going to continue to hang around over the next few hours. Not really going to let up over the next few hours either. So we're just going to continue to leave that in the forecast. That's why we have a 100% chance for rain showers throughout our whole region. So it's just not going to go very far. How much rain are we talking about? Well, we already have right around three tenths of an inch of precipitation as we scan through the overnight hours and really into tomorrow morning. Uh, we could see up to three fourths of an inch of rain, even some uh, heavier rainfall in some areas if you get a moderate shower to pass through. So we're talking about a good amount of rainfall and that could even lead to some minor flooding through some of those low lying regions. Pick it up back at uh, 8 p.m. tonight. You can see it's not going anywhere. A lot of rain there, but what it is going to do is help you folks that do have any kind of allergies. You can see on our allergy forecast is brought to you by Andrews Heating and Air Conditioning. Uh, We've been in the extreme the past few days and pretty high over the last week or so. Now starting to push off into a a low uh, risk of uh, any kind of uh, allergens out there. So good news for you folks with the rain that is going to help with that. Uh, but we're just going to see it just a very waterlogged day over the next uh, day or two. Temperatures tonight falling down to the 40s, right around 46 degrees at home in Terre Haute, 46 for Robinson, 48 for Linton, so a little bit cooler throughout the day today, only uh, in the mid 50s, so not going to warm up all that much. As we jump into the seven day forecast now, we're going to leave that chance of rain in for the next few days too. Uh, by the weekend, though, if you have any plans for the weekend, it looks like the, it will start to dry up and then we'll be back on the ladder of some warmer temperatures. By the time we reach Sunday, partly sunny, 68 degrees Monday for the new week, we're on the right path. Temperatures into the lower 70s and the sun returns.